Hi guys, welcome back to UK Sea Fishing. So today, what I wanted to have a look at was um, a new method of using crimps instead of knots on your rig body. Something that I've been thinking about for a while, but I've never really trusted. Um, I know people have been doing it for a while, um, but I've been experimenting the last few days uh, with this, and I think I've come up with quite a decent way of doing it. Incorporating Sam and Tackle Times um, video where he used some four-way crimping pliers so i've bought them and they seem to work really well on crimping the rig uh, crimping the crimp all the way around so we're going to have a look at that today um if you wouldn't mind just leaving a comment in this video of whether you've done it before or whether you considered doing this uh, whether you think it's a bit dodgy like i originally did um but yeah we'll have a look at that and if you wouldn't mind even if it's just a yes or a no in the comments just so I can get an idea of if it's a good idea or not really. So, all right guys, we'll get on with the video. Right then guys, so the way we're gonna do this, just to show you the um, actual process itself. Yeah, you're gonna take some, I wanna use uh, my, I think this is 60 pound, no 50 pound, so I'll take my 60 pound shock leader, which is uh, 0 0.70 millimeters in diameter for the line diameter on that. What I've done, I've got a packet of crimps that are 1.5 millimeter internal diameter. Uh, they're eight millimeter long, the length eight millimeters, and the internal diameter of them is 1.5. So it's just slightly bigger than twice that. And there's a reason for that. And I'll show you now. So. Literally, it's quite a simple process. Um, you need to slide on your crimp on there. Then whatever link you're gonna put on the end, I'm just gonna use a terminal link here. So you go through there, then you need to go back up through the crimp, which should be quite tight because there's not a lot of room left once you've got both lines uh, both lines going through it. Put it down, not right tight up against there, because you don't want to pinch the line either side at the bottom. Just about see that there. So where the line goes from left and right round the terminal link at the bottom, you don't want to snug it right up tight against there and then pinch it, because you might do some a bit of damage to the line there. So just put it back a little bit. Now the tag end on that, what I've been doing, is just melting it a little bit, just create a little bit of a blob at the end. Let it cool down. Let's see if we can see that a bit better. Okay, so you've got a little bit of a blob at the end of there. And the reason for that is, you can now pull it back down and that stops the line going back through the crimp, the crimp sorry. So now, let's try and focus in on that a bit better. Oh, there you can see it there. It's got a little blob which stops the line slipping back through the, cr the crimp. So that's already quite secure. Obviously not secure enough for casting five, six ounce leads. The next process is these four way crimping tool. Um, I saw this on Sam Man's Tackle Time um, he thought that was really good and I see him do a similar thing. So um, I bought a pair just to try them out and they are actually really, really good. So it gives a nice even crimp all the way around. So you need to put your, whatever you're using as an end link through there. Then just tighten down, nice and tight. Then put it back out. And then try and zoom in on that again. You see it there, so that's crimped right way around, so it gives it a nice, even, even crimp. So now, when I pull that, there's no way that's slipping. I think the only way you can do damage on that is to over crimp it and obviously damage the line. But as that stands, you can put a lot of pressure on there, and that's not, not coming through. So it's just an easier way of doing it, really. So, an easy way of, it keeps it nice and streamlined, there's no line burn, obviously, because you're not tying a knot. 
But yeah, I just want to see your thoughts on that. So what I'll do is I'll make up a rig, a completed rig with them, and I'll show you that. And then if, you, if you've tried this before, please leave a comment and let me know how it's gone. Or if you'd be willing to try it, then again, leave a comment, even if you're not, if you wouldn't try it, wouldn't trust it like I initially wouldn't, then again, please leave a comment. Okay, guys, I'll, I'll make up a rig and then I'll show you that. All right, guys, so there's a, the rig completed with the uh, crimps instead of the knots on the rig body. I still use my knots, just a couple of knots on the snood line for the hook. You can see the blob at the end of there just holding that in place and how it's nicely crimped around on the bottom. And I'll go to the top of the rig. And again, you've got two crimps with the beads and at the top swivel. Again, just a crimped um, piece of rig body instead of a knot. But yeah, let us know what you think. It's a, it's a little bit quicker, e easier way of doing it, but still not totally sure, but I'd like everyone's opinions, please. So if you don't mind leaving them comments, that'd be great. Okay, guys, see you on the next one.